I have another wonderful story to share with you today. We've been talking a lot about the creation of the universe and the formation of the earth. And then we had our story last week of the coming of life. And we talked about how it was so important to bring peace to our beautiful earth, to have this particle with the special properties of growing, eating, and making more like themselves. And we talked about the, the voice of the universe in both of those stories. And we talked about last week, that we could hear that voice if we look in just the right places, which is the book of rocks that tell us the story of life. Some of you may have looked at the timeline of life in the past and maybe the black strip, and we've talked about all of the ideas of how life has come and life has changed. And remember, the creatures on earth came first in the water before they moved to land, and on land we had plants before we had animals. And at the end of all of that time, as we unrolled the timeline or unrolled the long black strip, there was a very special being that came at the end. And that's where our very first story started, was with that special being that could look up to the sky and wonder, and that is the human. Well, you may have been wondering, or maybe you've thought about how long life was experimenting before the human came. And then you saw this black strip stretched all the way down the hallway. And you could see the length of time before man. And you could see how all of humanity was encompassed in a thin red strip at the very end of that big, long black strip. Well, today's story exists completely within that tiny red strip at the end of the story. It took all that time to prepare the world to be ready for a special creature, the special creature of humans. The special human being was given three gifts. Now these three gifts are bestowed on humans alone, and these are what set us apart. The first of these gifts is a very special kind of mind. As far as we know, we are the only creatures on earth that think the way we think. We can remember, and though other animals remember too, we can think about the past way before there were humans. We can even imagine a future the, of things that haven't yet happened and what will happen after we're not even here anymore. We have strong, flexible imaginations and there's another special thing about the human mind. We can share what we're thinking about. We think and think and think and think and then we share what we're thinking through communication and telling stories. Human beings have another very special gift. It's a very special way of loving. Hum the human heart is a very unique thing to humans. Remember that we have the same laws as all living things. We eat and we grow and we breathe and we make more just like ourselves. Human beings have the ability to love beyond themselves and even their own children. I can love all the children in the world. I can love children I've never even met. I can love anybody and everybody. We can love people who haven't even been born yet. And that special love can be, extend beyond just the people we love. We can love plants, animals, and all sorts of things. Humans are different from other animals in this way too. Each animal on earth is here to live their life in their own way. When a blue jay is born, it grows up to be a blue jay. It eats certain blue jay foods and builds a certain blue jay nest. They mate with other blue jays and have blue jay babies that are just like them. Animals live their life the way they were made to live, but human beings can choose. They can choose how to live their lives. This is a, another special gift of the human. We can make choices about a lot of things. We choose the foods we eat and the beverages we drink, but it's not just a choice about food, but also in the clothes we wear each day. Think about the pony. Does he get to choose what fur he wears? No, he has to wear the fur he's born with. We get to look around at other people and see what they're wearing. We get to think about the weather and let that help us choose what we wear. What about the polar bear with his heavy coat of fur? He couldn't live in any other environment than the one he does. If you move to a hotter climate, you could choose to wear cooler clothes. Humans have the special gift to use their special mind and their special heart to make choices to meet their needs and make them happy. Another special gift that's given only to the human is the hand. The very, the very first humans 
were walking upright, and this was so that we were free to use our hands to do our work. Together, it's our very special mind and heart and hands that help us to do the work that we do. What did you do with your hands today? Your hands are here to do your work, and there's no other creature on earth that has a hand as capable as ours. We use our hands to meet our needs and care for ourselves and for each other. So think about that. What did you use your special gifts for? What have you done that was you did with your hand or that your hand helped you to do? So I want you to remember that you have these special gifts, your very special mind, your very special heart, and your very special hand, and they help you to do your work every day. These all lead us to what Maria Montessori called a state of supernature. Supernature is how all of the things in our universe, how all of the things that we interact with, how we're all interconnected. And I have many more stories about supernature to share with you. But this story today, this is the story of the coming of humans and what special gifts the humans were when humans came to be. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and this story. And I can't wait to hear what you, what you took away from this and what you used your hand for today to make a difference in your life. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.